All right, so this is a faceless head. It's totally flat. Perfect for doing like little elves, scarecrows, gingerbreads. I use them for a lot of cartoon characters. So let's see. Um, of course, we want to have big eyes. We want to have a little nose right here. So we'll probably be the nose there. I'm just looking where I'm going to put stuff. So mouth, mouth. So we can play with the eyes around this area. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and try to do these uh, little pear-shaped sad eyeballs. But we don't want them to be sad. Uh, I don't want them to be sad. I can never get these even. Never. I always get that first one made. And it's like, oh, God, it's perfect. And then the second one's like, nope. I usually have to correct it while I'm painting it. Let's give it more, not so curvy. Well, we can also do uh, we can also do eyelids too. That might look cute. Let's see, maybe some eyelids. Hey, Yolanda, thanks for popping in. Yeah, I was working on this. I've been working on this for about four days, just playing with it on and off. I have so much to do still, but I got a lot done. It's pretty groovy. Pretty groovy skull. Let me see. I'm just looking to see how he'd look like with some. Um, I think he's going to be one of those characters you're not going to be able to tell he's an elf until I get him decorated. But we'll see. Uh, what kind of eyeballs? Let's see. I don't want him to look. I'm sketching and just winging this as I go along, guys. Just sketching and winging it. Hi, Angie. Good evening. We'll see. So, One thing that's nice is if it looks stupid, I'm using a sketch and watch pencil. So I just wipe it right off <laughs> with a little bit of damp water. Uh, I'm just going to give him some droopy eyeballs. Now look at him. Uh, we'll do like eyebrows like that. Let's see. Uh, of course, we're going to have to do some little lashes. Um, We'll make a smile so then he won't look so sad. So if the nose goes there, and then we'll do top of his mouth there, and we'll just bring it down. So we'll go way up here. Go way up there. And then bring it down here. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to look like an elf going to look like a cartoon. And we'll give him a tongue. A tongue. Um, oh wait, but that leaves no room for his cheeks. Just thought of that right now. So now you get to see how nice it comes off with pencil, or with water. You'll see what I mean. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Super simple. But I just realized I do want some rosy cheeks on him. So, you just take that top part right off. So, this area and this area will have rosy cheeks. We'll just do a little, little soft curved nose like that. Okay. So if we do the cheeks there, we'll bring these out instead this way, like that. And then we can do a small mouth. 
and the corners don't have to be even and you could even give them some teeth I don't know let's see it might look stupid but let's see cartoon teeth all you're doing is a big old long uh, line and he's got this tongue his mouth looks crooked bring this side up one thing about an elf they have kind of a slight you can make it a crooked smile straight smile whatever you want and then these little lines here we could do a little line right here to represent the lip super simple little sketch and then I'll use eyeshadow red eyeshadow right there for his cheeks um, let's just go ahead and outline his mouth Let's get his mouth done. You can do a little elf on a flat head super quick. Super quick. So we're just going to follow along. I used a really, I should have used a thinner liner, but oh well. do the little line that's supposed to be his lip and then this is his big tongue really big tongue and then just everything back here we're gonna fill in black see you can see how quick you can make one of these once you get this face painted, then you can decorate them so many different ways. I have these cute little pom-poms, red, green, and white. I might do a couple of, couple of pom-poms to make it look like his hair. That would be kind of fun. Okay, his teeth need to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I'll just add more white. Got a really big tongue going on. his tongue. I want to leave that little black line right there. And remember this is cartoon style so don't worry. If you're a little bit off it'll be okay. There's our first coat. Might not need another one. I don't know. Let's do his teeth with some white. I messed up right there, so I'll have to just redo my outline. But that's okay. Get the white on here, and then you could reshape his teeth when you go in with the black. So go like that. And while that's all drying, I'm going to do his little nose. He's a little bit thinner brush. And just a little simple nose and then we'll add a little bit of blush highlight in his nose well it's not blush it's eyeshadow let me find my fluffy where did it go oh my stars is my favorite one I'm 
Well, darn it, that's a problem. Hmm. Wow, that sucks. Hopefully this brush will work. I have a specific brush I use to do the rosy cheeks. And without it, I don't know if I can get it the way I like. I used it earlier today making my Grinch. My Grinch, the one holding the ornament, that didn't last very long. I put that in my shop and it sold right away. <clears throat> Shoot, if I'm not able to find that brush eventually, I'm going to have to buy some a new one because this is not the same and I don't know if it's going to work. One thing about is it's makeup so it will we can wipe right off. Now I am going to wipe off the pencil and hopefully I won't take the paint with it because it is brand new painted there. Because it's wet, I can't put the eyeshadow there now. Dang it. Okay, well this base is rosy beige. And I'm going to have to touch it up with it right now. My paint was not dry enough for me to do what I just did. Okay, so I can't put rosy nose yet. Yeah, none of this is dry enough for me to be doing this. Lovely, lovely, lovely. over that so stop messing with it. areas we'll need another coat okay I do need some more white in there on the teeth Oh, it looks fine so I'm going to add a little curve right here and one right here that just gives him a nice little highlight on his tongue now I'm going to come back to the black and fix this
Ew. See, whenever you do stuff like this, you can just fix it with your um, base paint. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's see how even these are. I said I was going to paint this t tomorrow. I'm like totally getting caught up here. I'm going to do maybe 10 more minutes or so. My son's going to be going to work pretty soon. He works night shift. Let me help him get some stuff for him ready. Just doing the pupils really quick. <laughs> Total cartoon. And then let's go ahead and do the white really quick of his eyes. Okay, that'll need a few coats because of the pencil. Uh oh, what is that? I don't know what I just did there. Oh well. Just kind of look at it, see if you have it even. Let's see. Something's not clicking here. Something is not clicking. Okay, I can see the problem already. I see the problem already. See, once you start painting them, you could really see, oh, wait, that doesn't even go. Or that, this area is skinnier than that area. And it just, sometimes you don't see it until you start painting. Um, let's see, let's just give him some bright palm green eyes. I probably shouldn't have used this, it takes too many coats. I probably should have used ice blue. That would have looked good. Ice blue. am I seeing long hair? Okay, so your eyelid's going to come from here. I need to put more black up there. More black. Definitely going to need another coat. Need another liner. What time is that? Right. Closer in the dryer code.
Dog got it. Just a real simple guy, huh? <laughs> real simple little elf. Typical cartoon style elf. get a rosy nose on there real quick. I don't know. Don't got my brush, so we'll see. <coughs> Smelling something that's spicy. stuck to my finger and got on the head. I have to paint over it. Alright, so we're going to go a little rosy cheek there, a little rosy cheek there. Just kind of makes, brings them a little more light, makes them look a little more soft in his nose. Let me see. Um, let me do another coat really quick. I'm only going to finish this eyeball right here. There's this eyeball before I say goodnight. And another coat of white. Okay, then we're going to go into the green. Yeah, I, I, I heard it in the kitchen, but it was right behind me. Why am I just... Because I'm live. I don't know if there's anybody here. Well, then, then, shh, to you. I came, I went on and gave me thumbs up. You were on here? I was. You didn't say hi to me. I didn't. Huh? Nope. I gave you thumbs up and hearts. And you just ignored me. I didn't see you. I would have said hi. I don't see who, who does a little thumbs up. Okay, so then just do a little highlight right there. Just bam. Hi, everybody. Bam. And then maybe a little one right here. And I think I'm going to try... <coughs> I might wipe... <coughs> I'm... What? What? What is your body? Why don't you try looking first? Not in here. Please. No, please don't. Thank you. Alright. I did anyway. You just listen so sweetly. Is there anybody here? Did I lose everybody? <coughs> I'm going to see. I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. I might wipe it off if I don't like it. But I'm going to try a little bit of shadowing for his eyelid. We'll see how it looks. Really, really. Let me just double check here that I'm still working because sometimes doesn't show up. <coughs> Come on. Facebook's being slow. Alright. Okay, nope. It's the same. Alright. So, just gonna add a little bit of shadow around the inside. I just don't know how it'll look. I don't want to paint in there. I'm 
want to see how it looks with shadow. I need to use my firm one because this one is not doing what I want it to do. <coughs> Another thing too, <coughs> if you don't like <coughs> the shadow, you could always paint right over it too. You don't even have to take it off. Angie's still here. Yay. I was like, oh, nobody's left. Everybody left. <laughs> I wasn't even going to finish painting him, but it just got carried away. But it's almost 20 after, so I got to finish this right here, and then I got to go. But I'll finish him tomorrow if anybody wants to check him out. Then I'm going to take my blender that I showed you guys used on the skull just kind of yeah I'm blended in there that's going to be his eyelid thought it would look cuter than paint and they can actually bring well my paint's wet still I think a little bit of shadow into the eyeball and it just gives it a Kind of a realistic look. But I see where my paint is a little bit wet right there. Yeah, it's still a little bit wet. If that happens, <coughs> you can just repaint it. And then reshadow. But I'm happy with that. Just kind of a different look. So that's what we have so far. Hello everybody, it's Heather with Creepy Holiday Stuff and this is like a part two from last night. I was live last night drawing him so if you are if you didn't see last night and you want to make a Christmas elf like super simple, super cheap then watch part two to finish. Watch part one from last night. Um, i just seen a flaw here. One second. Okay. I actually dropped him and I have a very mild, I need to see it, very mild little indent. But I'm not going to worry about it. He still looks super cute. Anyway, um, before I finish painting him, I want to show you what I did and what I'm going to. Hey, Norma. Hi, love. Hi, Tanya. Um, this is a budget friendly. Um, little elf that you can make so you buy a flathead styrofoam head and you only have what one two three one two three four colors of paint you have red white black and green that's if you want green eyeballs um, and then the color of the skin tone that you want I happen to be using uh, rosy beige by Ceramico which is a cute color for this and of course you need a pencil, preferably a general sketch and wash. And I'm actually going to use this green boa um, for his hair, which can be pricey. Um, it's best to get them on sale. And then you just want a big piece of felt. I think it's like 9 by 12. And then I, you know how you fold it over so that, let's say you're going to make a square. I think that's what it is. Anyway, I fold it over and cut it. And I glued it together, which you can see the glue. So I don't know. I might put something there. Maybe some glitter. I don't know. But I just made a simple one. I didn't have any Santa hats right now. So hi, Candy. That's what I did. And then I bought a bag of these little pom-poms. And I just glued them all around the felt. You know, it's not perfect, but it's cute, right? I stuck one right on the tip, folded it over, and hot glued it. And then I have a little piece of leftover uh, tool that I'm going to put on there. And, and then I'm going to put a few of these shiny balls. 
um, I cut a piece of felt and I cut little pointies on it and that's going to go around his neck. So we'll see how he looks. I think he'll turn out cute, I hope. So I'm just going to finish painting him. Um, let's see another touch up date. One second. I see another little touch up right here. Just a little touch up. Now this is a cartoon style elf. Um, the elf I'm going to be doing a tutorial on for my group that's due next weekend is going to be more of elf. I sculpted the nose and um, this one will have a wig and all that jazz. This is more of a cartoon style. All right. Oh, gotta sneeze. Okay, I'm just going to finish outlining his eyeball. And give him, I already glazed that one over so it's nice and shiny. Isn't it cute? His mouth. Give him a few little lashes right here. Just using my liner brush. The other ones are a little bit longer. Good enough. The pencil, I'll go ahead and uh, wipe that off when everything's dry. Okay. I'm going to do one more coat of, I hope it was this color I was using. Right palm. Probably should have went back and looked at the video. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Just another coat of green. And then I'm going to do another coat of white. That's it. And then I'm going to do my outline again just to make it look better. Strange. Once you outline it, it just really stands out more. Don't make your outline as thick as the eyelid, though, it would be too heavy. thicker on this one though. His eyes don't look perfect, but it looks cute, I think. And just touch up this nose. Oops. Okay, now to get that cool looking eyebrow, or not eyebrow. Eyelid. This is what I did. <sighs> I took a 
number six round blender and a little short stubby but firm um, eyeshadow brush hopefully my comments are working I just see are you guys still here sometimes it freezes on me so I have to double check Just say here so I know you're here. That would be awesome. Okay, so I'm taking some black eyeshadow. Let me just double check my live on my phone. I have to do that sometimes. Okay, good. D says here. Tanya says here. All right. You guys are just being quiet then. That's all right. <laughs> I love your work. Only I could draw. Plant ahead would have more options. Plant ahead. Draw. Plant ahead. Plant ahead. Are you talking about um, a planter head? Like you put the plants inside? If so, those are super awesome. Yay! Rose, Linda, Norma, Kelly, Ken, everybody says here. Good. You guys are here. You're just super quiet. Is it because I talk too much? <laughs> you don't feel like you can say anything because I talk too much? <laughs> I have been told I talk too much and talk too too quiet. All right, so I take the um, eyebrow brush, the eyeshadow brush, and right up against my outline, I'm just going to go rub it right in. Blow off, get rid of that fallout. Don't let it go all over the place because then you're going to have to sit there and clean it up. So I started making them as planners, but I use lashes because I can't draw. Oh, okay, Kelly. You know, I have not made a planter uh, head yet, but I really, really would love to give it a try. I've seen so many awesome ones. But I tell you what, just a little practice, you will be able to do eyes. I know eyes seem intimidating, but really, you can do it. Watch my live this evening. When I go live this evening, I'm going to be doing a whole head. And I will be doing the eyes. And a lot of times when I go on, when I'm doing a whole head like that, I like to do it as a tutorial. So just watch what I do with the eyeballs and just practice that and you will have perfect eyeballs. Hi, Carmen. It's your first time watching. That is so awesome. Carmen, I have to tell you myself, I want you to hear it from me, that I think that that beautiful arrangement that you made for the wedding was just absolutely stunning, and the colors were just beautiful. I really, really loved it. Intensely <laughs> watching you paint, that's funny. Just into watching what you are doing. <laughs> Uh, yes, I okay, I'll make sure if I missed a comment, sorry. Alright, so just adding this eyeshadow like this all around. Then I'm going to take my blender. The heads that I use have the facial indentations. Yeah, that's what I mostly use. Um, and I'm just rubbing this in, Kelly. Uh, but for cartoon characters, Oh, these flat heads. The faceless heads are the best. You're welcome, Carmen. You are very welcome. And that's all I did. Now, I do like, even though I'm not trying to do a totally realistic eyeballs, I want to have some, like, depth in it, you know, so it kind of draws your attention. So I'm going to pull down a little bit of eyeshadow into the eye right here on top and then I'm going to come around maybe a little here on the side and right there just a little that's it that is it look at it isn't it cute I definitely know I wouldn't be able to do it with a blank face everything would be so <laughs> cockeyed <laughs> I tell you it's sometimes it's hard like and you know like these eyeballs but when you're doing cartoons you do not have to be symmetrical you don't have to worry it's just 
um, get them as close as you can and look at like this one is more rounded over here and this one's a little elongated it's like ah, it looks super cute anyway you know just don't let it intimidate you you got this all right he actually needs some uh, highlight on his eye because that's what really makes it pop more is the highlight And then, of course, when I gloss it over, I put a little bit, I don't want that right there. It kind of balled up the eyeshadow. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do, I got to look at it straight on so I can't show you. Where are you located, if you don't mind me asking? I'm in California. I'm on the central coast in California. And what are you painting with? I use acrylic paints. I use acrylics. My preference is deco art, but I use ceramic coat. I use craft smart, folk art. Um, I do most of my painting actually with a liner and then around like two, four. So it's a little higher than the other one, but hey, that's okay. It's a cartoon. He's a cartoon. Oh, I think he's cute. Thank you, Carmen. I tell you what, though, and I tell everybody this when I'm doing it. When it comes to doing straight lines or if I'm trying to do, you know, something that's um, a constant, first of all, I'm never without my pinky. I really need that for, for steadiness and balance. Also, this works for me, and I say it all the time. If you're trying to do a line, a continuous line or a straight line, take in a slight breath and slowly blow it out as you are doing your line. I tell you what, I don't know why it works, but it works. It really, really helps. And I know it sounds stupid, but it does. Uh, let's see. Damn it, I'm about to move to Cali so I can peep through your window. Oh my God, that's so awesome, Kelly. Where in California? Okay, we're going to move on to his his uh, collar made out of just a piece of green felt. I folded it over. I don't know how that happened, but it don't matter. It's in the back. I folded it over and just did that little school kid, you know, triangle cutouts. And then it's going to go right around his neck and I'm going to pin it. But when you pin it in the back, it likes to slide up on you. So I'm going to take just a tad bit of hot glue you're in New York. Can can you be my Mr. Mia? <laughs> that, yeah, right? Are you moving to the central coast of California or northern or southern California? Where? Where will you be? I always wanted to go to New York. I always wanted to see it. And I'm just going to go like this. Worry about the back in a minute. That will hold it down in the front. Then we can flip them around and do all this jazz. I'm going to take two pins. Ow, shoot. Hold it there and then hold it here. hold it here. When I'm putting the pins in, I try to go up at an angle because you stick your finger in there. See how it wants to ride up? It wants to ride up. Okay, and then another one up here. Um, I have stuck my finger inside the hole because that's what I use when I'm painting and stuff or just to move it around and it stab the crap out of me. So always check. There, so he has this cute little collar, and you could even, you know, move these down. If you fold with them enough, you can get that little curve. You can be my Yoda and teach me your Jedi. <laughs> How funny. I'm really moving, but in my mind. Oh, no, not really moving. Okay. I didn't see that one. 
do you do floral designs too or do you just do painting actually I've done a lot of floral designs on my heads um, you can see them if you go to my uh, to my album styrofoam head art um, where I put the head on a stand and then I do floral design um, but I started becoming too busy with creating the heads that I stopped doing um, I've done a couple but I don't I don't do any customs for anybody doing those anymore stop Ron what are you doing okay candy are you here did you hear Ron okay let me get rid of this piece this is gonna be his hair I hate cutting boas I hate cutting boas but yeah the the floral designs are so pretty they turn out to be a really pretty centerpiece Okay, so, God, I hate to use up my pins on this. I'm almost out. Sorry, too. Maybe four glasses in one. I'll be quiet and watch, but I love you. Oh, no worries. No worries. Chat away. That's absolutely fine. I wonder if I drink wine what my head would look like haha <laughs> that would be funny okay so I'm just gonna kind of go around uh, pin it let's see oh I shouldn't have done it that way I'm not gonna Let's see. He's going to be so cute. He's going to be so cute. I can be your hyper man woman. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. You are too funny. Okay, and then I'll stop about right there. Wow, I hope I have enough. He's going to have a short hairdo. going to be a short hairdo. Then bring it around right here. It's just sliding all over the place. Oh, that's awesome. I've seen some outstanding full mannequin floral designs. Oh, yeah, there's some really amazing ones out there, Carmen. Amazing. Oops. And right here. And I think what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to cut it right here. And pin it right here almost done almost done with the hair it would have been super simple if I just got a wig but uh figured I'd use what I have okay right here and I want that to show Well, it took a whole boa to do this. I didn't put it up here. I'm going to have a hat. So I didn't have to waste any. There we go. So there's the hairdo. This one is a little... Let me go a little further. There we go. Okay. So he's got the hair. Is there a way I can share with you the heads I've made and you give me your pointers absolutely Kelly um, you could um, message me or if you'd like on my page creepy holiday stuff if you click on community people share uh, pictures there of their work so you could share it there um, sometimes because I don't get notifications when the community there's a post in there so um, every day or so I'll go in and check it every two days 
So if you want to post it there, you are absolutely welcome, or you can message me. Good evening, Wanda. Thanks for popping in. I'm just making a little simple elf out of felt boa and a faceless styrofoam head. You know what? Let me go ahead and uh, glaze glaze that eyeball so I don't forget. And then I put the hat on. You know, it's a little cheesy. It's a homemade hat made out of felt and pom-poms. Nothing fancy at all. And I have eyeshadow on here, so I'm going to be very careful. And I'm dabbing because the eyeshadow will smear and make it look like caca. Also, if you put too much, it'll drip and that'll mess up your design. Now, these are just pinned in. When I'm done with the live, I'm going to clean up the pencil on there, take this off, spray them, because I have blush, you know, a little eyeshadow blush there, and I got to spray it so I don't smear it. Okay. Just so you know, I for the live, I put this on here so you can see, but when the live's over, this stuff comes off and gets sprayed. What's the name of your floral group again? Community page. Um, my, my page for the community where people post pictures is just on my creepy holiday, holiday stuff page. My subscription group for my heads is Creepy Corner. And there's a pin post with info on that, on joining that. But I don't have a group that's for floral. I just, you know, I'll... I did that in, in the beginning, a lot of the floral designs and stuff. Okay, here is my homemade, my ghetto Santa hat. What do you use for spray? I use a variety of things. It really just depends. Um, I prefer gloss. You can get your sprays and, you know, satin, matte, gloss, semi-gloss, all that jazz. Um, but uh, you can get Mod Podge High Sheen Gloss, which is groovy, but it has a lot of uh, little white stuff because it's really thick. So you don't want lashes on your head when you're doing that spray. If you do, you get some white stuff on your lashes and you just put some paint or with a spoolie, you know, like for mascara. And I'm currently using Deco Art Americana uh, Acrylic Spray Sealant in Gloss. Hold on, I'm going to move my camera for second so you could actually see what it is I got going on with his hat his ghetto Santa hat it's budget friendly his budget friendly hat okay sorry can't see him that well I guess but all right so I'm gonna just turn it let me see did I miss any comments um, what do you, okay, I'm afraid it will yellow the white. You're afraid the spray will yellow your white? Is that what you're saying, Juliana? Um, because I do not have that problem. I would be more worried of Mod Podge turning it yellowish than the spray. Um, all it does is just put a gloss on it. I will, if... I wouldn't um, use probably, I wouldn't recommend the Mod Podge High Sheen, but you can use um, uh, Krylon, I, th was, I think it's pronounced Krylon, uh, um, Acrylic Sill Spray, you can get that, and if you like a gloss, like that's my preference, so I would get that in gloss. Um, Eileen's, where the tacky glue that I use, um, she has a brand of spray. But yeah, I don't even worry, I because I do a lot of Halloween heads where, um, you know, they're white for like skeleton face or, or something like that, and I spray them and I have no problem. Okay, I left you a few pics. I would love your few. Oh, absolutely. I will check them out, Kelly. Thanks so much for posting. 
Okay, so I'm not going to use hot glue. See, I have some glue that showed up there when I was doing the pom-poms. So I'm going to cover that, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to cover it with. Just a second. I have him, I don't want him top heavy. If he is, I'll throw some screws in there. You know, that happens. Um, but I'm trying to avoid it. You are very welcome, Juliana. Juliana, I love that name. Juliana, it's pretty. All right, let's see what I can do. Oh, it's got to go through the hot glue, too. Hold on. I'm going to get my glasses on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Ugh. Let's see. I didn't think this part out too clearly. There we go. I'm not going to put a lot because, like I said, I'm doing... I'm going to spray them. Ooh. I want him his hat to look... Okay. Guys. <laughs> He's interesting looking. He's a. I think he's a cute elf. Okay, is that in the felt? Yes. In you go. Okay, good. So there's his little homemade hat with felt and a pom pom, just cut and folded over. What do you use to stick fabric that won't eat through? Thank you, Candy. What do you use to stick fabric that it won't eat through? I'm not sure what you mean, Kelly. I know you're probably making sense, but sometimes my brain don't work that good. <laughs> okay, so this is just, I actually took this off a different hat that I did not want to use. And it's just some tool, and I'm going to gather it together let me glue it together really quick because you won't even see where I ripped it off another little hat it was underneath this it was underneath this and I just didn't like the way that looked it was just too big too much going on so this is what I want to do I'm gonna gather it like this and I'm just gonna zap it with some glue right here on the bottom keep it all nice and gathered and pop it inside here let me hold it there for a second oh, thank you everybody don't forget to share and thumbs up Hold it there for a second. All right, then I'm going to open it up. Hopefully you could kind of see. And so it doesn't look boring. I'm going to take some of these red glitter balls. You can buy these bags at the craft store. Anywhere. Hi, Irene. Hello, hello. And I'm just going to pop a couple of them. Maybe three, I don't know, maybe three or four. One there. Just to have that sparkle, Christmassy sparkle. Show you I'll show you a close up when it's done. I think I'm gonna use three. Three is the thing, you know, it's like put three on of everything. I know when I was doing the florals, it's like use threes, do it in threes. When I make head, I use fabric as a he head scarf. And when I use Elmer's craft bond spray to get the fabric to stick to the inside of the head, the spray seems to melt or eat through the, oh, gotcha. Yeah, well, um, Kelly, the hot glue will do the same thing, um, but you just have to use very little. When I'm using, um, like as you saw here, I don't know if you were here when I did this in the beginning, I used a very thin layer of hot glue right here just to hold the front. So when I'm doing material and stuff, it's very thin layer of hot glue 
um, and pins. I resort mostly to pins. I'm sure there might be something else out there, but that's what I do. All right. There it is. Let me see the back of it. Looks stupid. Okay. Okay. Ta da! There is the elf. Let me show you a close up of him. I love the wind chimes in the background. It's very. Oh, thank you, Carmen. Um, a lot of times in the evening, because we'll get this afternoon, early evening, you know, breeze out there. I love wind chimes. They're just it's my favorite. And a lot of people that like to watch painting to relax um, they enjoy the wind chimes they hear when I'm just painting and not doing a lot of talking you know you're welcome Kelly okay so let's start from the top da -da -da -da. and there's this little Christmas jazz on his homemade hat. I know this looks a little funny because it's pushed out, but I don't know. I think it's okay. And here he comes. You ready? Oh, his face, his eyes, his smile, and then his little little thingy. He is done. He is ready to go in the shop after I spray him. Are you going to add earrings? You know what? Earrings would be... Well, then he's not a dude. Does he... I don't know. Does he look like a girl or a guy? Everybody give me your opinion. If he looks like a girl, then I'll add these two earrings right there. Right there. What does everybody think? Should I put the earrings... Or no earrings. Earrings? It might look cute, I think, huh? Yes, that's what I was thinking. I think it looks cute. Looks like a girl. Okay, it's a girl. That means she gets earrings. So, I'm going to go ahead just to make sure they don't pop off. And then I'll have to paint these. Let's see how... I don't have the extra long pins. But that's okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick a pin through there just like that. Then I'm going to put some hot glue right on the tip of that. Let it just fall right down the head or to the ball. And hold on. I'm going to put it right there. And that really got in the way. And I'll paint that red. <laughs> anyway. It's the girl. Norma said yes. Juliana said yes. Kelly earrings. Irene, yes. Oh shoot. Oh, my soda. Hold on. Alright, let's do this one. Let me just look at her straight on to find out where I put it. Right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, those pin those pins look kind of wacky, but let me paint them red really quick. Her name should be Carol. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Carol's a cute name. I always try to name my heads. If you don't see a name on my heads in the shop or posted, that's because I just couldn't think of one. But Carol's actually cute. It's not the same red, but I could always add glitter too if it looks too, too wacky. Let's see. <laughs> there she is. I name all my heads. Yeah, I love naming the heads. 